everyone, welcome back um, to the Disney Channel here live at the Witchwood Barnes. Here we want we want to talk about autism with you today, and so let's kick it off. Anyways, um, autism. Well, we don't like screaming and yelling at each other. We all need to be positive and sticking to the issue and sticking to how to help children to, to understand autism and and our and our parents as well and and um learn from their experience and to um keep going learn from them and by you, if you come to my office and you, and you and you yell at me, I want to kick you out and get security. It could, we, don't, we don't need any negativity. We, we want positive. If you're positive with me, I'm positive with you. So, Cynthia, do you have, do you have any, anything to share on autism? Absolutely, and I think your point is really well noted too, Nick, is that, you know, like photography, we develop from the negatives, but we shouldn't be focused on the negatives. Uh, when you are too negative, you're not going to add any kind of merit to your argument. You're just going to come across as a screaming banshee. It's kind of like when a dog poops on the floor. If you wait yeah. an hour and then you chase him around and start yelling at him, the poor dog doesn't know what the heck you're going on about, and the poop's still there, you know? So stuff happens, and it's to say that we need to be able to inspire and be the change we want to see in the world. Uh, with that being said, it's really important that we are positive and that we do bring light and shed awareness. That's really what it is. We have to spread awareness and raise awareness, let people know, you know, the impact of the certain circumstances there are there and be proactive in our approach. Um, and then that being said, um, there are some legislations that are coming out that are not very uh, productive. Yeah. They're not doing very yeah. well. They're not serving us. For example, with autism, uh, that specifically, uh, now the driver license uh, legislation is actually asking for people to disclose that they have autism when they go for their driving license. Now, is that to say that every autistic person that drives is bad? What no. does this have to do with the other? Like, you know, you're basically saying that because you're different, you can't operate a vehicle. Well, I say we need to be the vehicle for change and stamp that out of there. And I agree to that. Absolutely. Sorry to, to interrupt. But, no. And I actually agree yeah. with that because we all we we all need to um, come together and unite. And also, all of us are different. We, we all thrive together. Yeah. Autism, Down syndrome, other disabilities, That's right. and we all need to coexist together Amen. in humanity and keep things going and and find a way to um, put the unity, put in the community, put the, put the yes. unity with, with community. <laughs> that yeah. each of us is part of all of us, yes. and we all need to get along and. Be focused and positive on the good side. If you're going to be negative, don't bring it with you. Absolutely. But we want the positive. If you bring the positive, you're in. You're, you're in with a grin. You're and in with a grin. We're going to throw it to a clip now. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Stoyan here from the Disability Channel. We're here with Jillian from the Canadian Cancer Society. Jillian, tell us about all today, what's going on. Absolutely. So we are here in Mississauga at the Mississauga Steelheads Inn today against Sudbury Wolf, and it's the pink of the ring game. So what that means is the Canadian Cancer Society is here, and we are supporting Canadians living with cancer and beyond, um, specifically supporting people with breast cancer today, hence the pink of the ring. So we've got the pink jerseys on the ice. We have some wonderful survivors who are here today dropping down the pot, and we are just here supporting awareness, uh, sorry, spreading awareness, getting support from our uh, fellow Canadians, asking people to drop off balloons or tunies, taking a pin, taking a bracelet, and just, as I said, spreading awareness today. 
This is great. Again, we're here with Jillian from the Canadian Cancer Society. I know Nick, one of the uh, Steelhead players, just did a fantastic social media post. So maybe tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. So he put a post up and said, if I get 10,000 likes, I will donate 25 cents for every 10,000 likes. And within 24 hours, he had over 1,000 likes on the uh, account. So he did very well. Lots of social support from him and lots of social support from the entire uh, Steelheads, which is fabulous to see. And can you tell us a little bit about the support you received from the city of Mississauga and Paramount Fine Food Center? Absolutely. Well, first of all, Paramount Fine Food Setting Center inviting us to be here today is a huge support. Uh, very much within the community. Um, we are the Canadian Cancer Society, so we deal with everybody across the country living with the disease. And it's so nice to be a part of zeroing in on the community such as Mississauga and being here to, to support the Mississaugonians. That's, that's great, Jillian. So if people want to get involved or hear more about the Cancer Society, where would they go? How would they do it? Yep, so they can go to cancer.ca and that will take them to the one-stop shop of everything they need to learn. We've got support services, uh, we talk about where our funding goes, different things that help Canadians living with cancer. So cancer.ca. That's great, Jillian. Again, we're here at the Paramount Fine Food Center. I'm Jay Stoyan with the Disability Channel. We just had a wonderful informative interview from Jillian from the Toronto Cancer Society. Jillian, I thank you for all you do. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us here today. I'm Jay Stoyan. We'll see you next time on the Disability Channel.